ladies, gentlemen, animals, things, whatever. Uh, give us a subscribe if you could. It's flashing at you down there. Just, just well, don't press that. But press something else. I don't know. It's got a big red. It's a big red button or something. Baby reindeer, again, again, again. Now Fiona Harvey, the real life Martha, says she will sue Netflix and writer Richard Gad. First of all, though, didn't she go on Piers Morgan and say, "It's nothing to. That's not me. It's not me. It's not portraying me." And then she's going. Oh, well, it is me, and now I want some money. I mean, fair play, though. She was just a normal person, I guess, that's been sort of thrust into the speed, the media spotlight and uh, Piers Morgan interviews. You know, he's a turd as well. But, yeah, now she's trying to get some bag. Can we, can we, can we blame her for wanting to get a bag? I mean, I'm not sure how it will work out in court. Maybe. I mean, she was pretty identifiable. People found her within two days, of course. So, yeah, the woman who's alleged to have inspired the character Martha in hit drama Baby Render it said she will sue its creator and Netflix. Uh, she, she First of all, she says it's a work of fiction and it's portraying me. So it's a little bit awkward. She accused Netflix and Scottish comedian Richard Gadd, who wrote and starred in the show, of lying in the defamatory depiction. They build it as a true story uh, and so is he. And it's not. Yeah, it's weird, though. To kind of build it as a true story, but definitely change the name of characters and apparently the appearance of characters, even though the character was Scottish, pretending to be a lawyer, <laughs> might have been a little bit crazy. I said might have been. None, I'm not saying anything. I don't know any of these people. I don't think he comes out of it particularly well either. Uh, the 58-year-old Scott gave the interview after being identified online by viewers who attempted to find out who she was, calling it ab- absolutely horrendous. Well, I'm not. She, was, she said stuff in that interview like... I came top of the class. I was, and then later on, it's not like I was top of the class or anything. And then got a photographic memory, but couldn't remember what she got for her law degree. But you know, maybe that's just bad memory. Maybe she's a memory is so bad she forgot that she doesn't have a photographic memory, or that the photographic memory is so good she knows that she's got a bad one. Who knows? So it's, yeah, it's a little bit odd. Morgan repeatedly challenged Harvey about how many emails, phone calls, and letters she sent Gad. The comedian said his stalker sent more than 41,071 emails, 350 hours of voicemail, 744 tweets, 46 Facebook messages, and 106 pages of letters. That's a lot. That is a lot. I, I It's not that I had a stalker once. Where I had someone who was going around telling people that we were in a relationship, and we definitely weren't. Like Lots and lots of people that I was studying with at the time and, and, and that had taught me before and friends and kind of very very odd one and uh yeah then when i did split up with my actual girlfriend she was like so we're moving in together then <laughs> no no we are not uh, but she did carry on the compa- campaign after that which is very very strange indeed so not quite a stalker just a nutter uh she admitted there may have been a couple of emails <laughs> listen i may have had a couple of beers last night right <laughs> only a couple of dms have gone out <laughs> It's not a th- it's not messaging everyone I've ever known off to go on out for a pint ten foot high. We've all we've all under what's the opposite to exaggerate? Understated, I guess. We've all under understated what's happened. She had she had one letter and eighteen tweets, but no Facebook messages, and she has doubts at those voice messages because she didn't have his phone number. And also the excuse the excuse was a bit weird. It's like maybe the voicemails he was recording me in a bar, but they would sound like a voicemail, wouldn't they? They'd be like, Hello, I'm coming around to suck your balls or what i don't know <laughs> what what was in them but uh, take it up the take up the chafter i think was a good line from there um but the one to need to be with my suspicious alarm bells ring loud yeah baby this is just about yeah just about all that sort of stuff but there's also you know other people coming out like she's written some weird emails to keir starmer call i don't know what she's calling him should we have a look at some of those uh <clears throat> But I just thought they were funny, really. I mean, I'm calling her Martha here, so maybe that's bad. And I'm typing with one finger while my pizza burns in an oven. I'm so hungry, guys. Allegedly sent Labour's Keir Starmer 276 abusive emails. That's a lot. I can imagine one or two. <laughs> Have we got any, uh, your life won't be worth living? <laughs> so there does seem to be this allegedly pattern of behaviour. I don't know, there was a really funny one. Stupid little boy. 
you get elected either of non party and within two minutes I get an email calling me a racist from the housing ombudsman. I've already complained about you to the standards commissioner who guess also does nothing. See, from now on I'll complain about the slightest little thing. Your life won't be worth living. I know I did put that. I'm sure she didn't have that voice, but... Um... Yeah, very very interesting. So I don't know, what do you what do you think? What do you think? Drop us a sub button. Let's stroke the little let's stroke the little sub button. Uh what do you think? Do you think this is a real lawsuit? It's gonna go ahead or there there could be an outcome with cash? To be honest, it might just give us some money to keep her quiet, you know? But how much she seems pretty switched on with how pe how much people earn. She got like two hundred and fifty quid allegedly for this interview and she's like he's made three or more three or four million quid or Gad's made three or four million quid in Baby Reindeer. So she kind of knows. So you can't fob her off going, listen, we'll give you 10 grand to keep quiet. She'll, she'll have the list go, no, I know that you've made 2.8 million pounds. And I want a piece. I want a piece of the action to um, take it up the chuffter with money, I imagine. But yeah, on the other hand, it is a person that didn't want any fame that was just kind of thrust in there by sort of a very, very lightly... Did Netflix have a duty of care for saying it's a true story, but we've changed uh, any any representation to real characters? But it's kind of was also, yeah, a lawyer with a bit of a mild Scottish accent, a, a lawyer who may or may not be a little bit nuts and, you know, rotund. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, I'm incredibly hungry, so I'm going to leave you with that. So drop us a sub if you can. We'll be back next Friday and Saturday with Jamie Dykes live in person. So we won't be talking about more of this live. We'll be together somewhere in Wales. And, uh, yeah, that will be very, very fun indeed. So lots of stuff coming out from there. And, yeah, just check out some of the other videos we've been done. We've been doing on here. The eunuch maker was very, uh, very popular. So it's a man who cut people's appendages off and, and ate and occasionally ate them. All right. Take it easy. I'm going to go take it up the chef. No, I'm just going to eat a pizza, if I'm honest.